Welcome from the wonderful premises of the Royal Langawi Yacht Club in Malaysia, where the 15th edition of Royal Langawi International Regatta took place from the 9th to the 14th of January. It's an event that grows year by year, establishing between the best regattas in Asia. Uh, the, uh, the regatta is fantastic. I mean, like, they've been holding it every year. Um, and then um, the, the place is very strategic, Langkawi is very good and um, the Yacht Club held very nice, they're very organised and um, they're doing really well. More than 220 sailors from 11 countries participated. It's a place which is very close to Oceania and that gives the opportunity to sailors from countries like New Zealand and Australia to participate on the crystal waters of Langkawi. Hospitality here is good, and the competition and uh, is is very uh, intense on the water, so we enjoy that. And also, it's a great time of the year, being January, which is our annual holiday. So, it's a it's good timing for us in our holiday season. If you're from Australia, come from New Zealand, England. It's my first time Thailand. This is my third year from Austria. From South Africa. The Royal Langawi International Regatta is hosted by the impressive and newly redeveloped Royal Langawi Yacht Club, which is nestled against a beautiful backdrop, opposite the stunning Diane Bunting Marble Geoforest Park. Established in 1996, the Yacht Club has been pivotal to the growth of boating in Malaysia, and the industry has grown with the island's development to become the hub of sailing. within Fisherman's Wharf Langawi provided impressive lifestyle facilities for all participants like restaurants, bars and outlet stores. The regatta, as you know, is for the 15th edition and uh, although it's only happening uh, five days a year, it around, requires around eight months of work every year. But Langkawi is quite unique because, see, we have uh, 99 islands here and we have the possibility to do a harbour race which usually offers calm waters and uh, wind. We have the possibility for uh, around the island race, also off, uh, offshore race, which is a bit more choppy waters and wind. The event started with a spectacular, well-organized opening ceremony at the Royal Langawi Yacht Club, where all the participants had the chance to taste exotic local tastes and receive their prizes from the first day of racing under a sky full of stars in Langawi. It's the surrounding landscape which makes this regatta a unique experience for all the sailors. 30 boats of 8 classes had the chance to compete between small exotic islands and the crystal waters of Langawi. It was an exciting week of sailing characterised from light to medium winds which offered great battles between the teams. teams had the chance to compete against each other in seven races with very tricky weather conditions. The local team of Matahari on IRC1 and Phoenix on IRC2 dominated their classes and they won all seven races, while Tantrum 2 from Singapore easily won the multi-hull class. Seven teams from Singapore, Thailand and Malaysia competed in the sports boats class, with Plateau 25 boats offering great battles. The big winner was the local team from the Royal Salangor Yacht Club. The first few days have been quite interesting. Uh, there's a couple of major weather systems in the region which are affecting this. Um, the class is very competitive this year. We've got two TP52s in the racing class. We've always also got uh, a very fast 44. We've got a very fast Sydney 40. And here is great facilities. Look at the sailors now. They're all really, really happy. And uh, they've sat in shade. They've watched what's going on. And they can get out within 20 minutes to the race area. So fantastic facilities here. 
On the white sail class, the big winner was Invictus, while Freedom 12 took first place on the Ocean Rover class. VG Offshore did it again and won club class for the third time in a row after great battles with Malashka and Lady Bubbly. Uh, the win was like uh, for the six knots. What we planned today, we executed very well. We did use our own personal tactics and we won the race. Everything changes. On the racing class, five boats consisting of great teams offered enormous battles in such demanding light wind conditions. THA-72, Majin, Black Bazaar, Oi and Uranus characterize the high level of participants. THA-72 team, which was the big winner and took the Prime Minister's Challenge Trophy, also consisted of Nick Rogers, silver medalist at the 2004 and 2008 Olympics in the 470s, and Don Whitcraft, world's champion of the Optimist Team Racing of 2010. So we had a really good regatta, we were very happy with our result, just had a very um, positive performance from like my whole team, everyone did very well. Royal Langawi International Regatta attracts sailors from all over the world who come to enjoy some superb sailing conditions and breathtaking scenery. The event offers participants a unique experience to sail between small tropical islands and visit the extraordinary Langawi Island. Dayan Bunting, or the Island of the Pregnant Maiden, is the second largest island and has a wonderful large freshwater lake. Just a few hundred meters from the club, there's Dataran Lang, also known as Eagle Square, a large sculpture of an eagle poised to take flight. Sky Bridge of Malaysia, the longest free span and curved bridge in the world, swings out over the landscape to give visitors a unique spatial experience above virgin jungle with spectacular views. I think one of the great things about the Royal Langkawi International Regatta is that one, we're based in a yacht club. We're based in the Royal Ankawa Yacht Club. We get to sail around these mag this magnificent ar archipelago of 99 islands. Uh, the sailors get to go out in the morning, have a great sail and come back and really get to know not just the yacht club, which, you know, with all our new outlets is wonderful, but also a lot more about Langkawi. Uh, the Geopark, the Eagle Square, they get to savor all the wonderful cuisine that is Malaysian. And I think this is what marks us as very different from other regattas in the region. Langkawi is made out of 99 islands, 99 beautiful islands, and it's a beautiful place, a very nice water to sail on. It's remarkable that a lot of journalists from local channels have been attracted here and follow the event closely. Especially the two press conferences that took place in the media centre at the regatta. Volvo's managing director, Mr. Lennart Stenland, had the chance to give a press conference since Volvo is one of the main sponsors of the event. So I say that the arrangements are really nice. I'm, I'm really impressed by the infrastructure, how everything is working. And uh, I'm also impressed by, by the, the good feeling uh, among the crew uh, and also the, the support uh, parts of the organization. The event wrapped up with a stylish closing ceremony where winners received their awards in warm applause. Enjoyment was everywhere as all the sailors exploited the moment to have fun and renew their appointment until the next year.